the chamber there on the, uh, on the left of itself from the inner section. and welcome to Air Rider. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for joining me on today's video. Uh, we just got here at Creevy Keel Court Tomb. Uh, we've come from Glenaniff um, scenic route. We went over the mountain, so we've officially got here. There's a bit of rain, so I'm not using the media mod on this one at the moment. Um, we're going to give it a go. Uh, at least this is waterproof. So we're going to crack on with it. But first, this is how I got here. There's only a, there's only a few clips. Um, of um, of the route because that wasn't that scenic after all but we're going to be taking a look now I'll see you guys in a sec Ass's tombs hope you enjoyed the last video uh, as you can see the weather is not sunny it's uh, really cloudy we've had rain continuously for the last few days so I uh, decided to just go for it see a couple of places while the weather's this bad <laughs> Maybe encounter some rain on the way, so uh, we'll see how we get on today. Oh, we'll be taking a right here. Van Van Doren. Join it on the national road because their actual location is right on the national road. So we'll just film around here for a bit. Uh, once we hit the national road, uh, I'll, uh, we won't film any of that. Uh, and then once we're at the location, we're not that far away really. Uh, but um, there's some lovely places that uh, we can see from here. Uh, if the trees went in the way, not much to see. <laughs> Uh, every time there's a bit of scenery on the left there, we hit a bump or uh, a house or a hedge. I'm going to be heading the left, uh, taking the left here, and we're about six minutes away. The uh, location will be on our left-hand side. Okay, we're just entering the uh, court, uh, Creevy Keel Court Tomb. That is the entrance just off the uh, the main road. There's a sign here, obviously in relation to the National Monument. So, National Monuments are not permitted to be uh, drone, like you can't use your drone at National Monuments, so I won't be using, I'll be respecting that, I won't be getting the drone out. But uh, we're gonna crack on with this, it's a nice bit of history. This dates back from about 3000 BC, so it's about 5000 uh, years old, uh, effectively. Um, and it's one of the finest court tombs in all of Ireland. Uh, so for sure, if you're in the Sligo area, and you like uh, a bit of history, there's also um, Caramore, which we'll go and see it at a later date. Uh, but Creevy Keel, uh, it's nice and quiet, just off the main road here. You, you've got the whole place to yourself, we can have a look, good look around. But let's crack on with it. A uh, court tomb um, consists of a wedge-shaped mound with a burial chamber opening off um, uh, or at the at the open uh, to the to the central area, and that is what they refer to as a central court. The entrance is on this side here. It's in quite a nice setting, actually. It's in a very nice setting just over here. But uh, there's a bit of rain coming down. I put the medium on away initially. I was going to get it out again, but I thought, nah, sod it. <laughs> I, uh, I just ain't going to do it. Um, but we'll uh, we'll have a proper look around now um, at this entrance way. Here we are, Creevy Keel, uh, Court Two. So we got the opening, 
court area in the middle and apparently there is a medieval structure so obviously this site would have been used later on and um, apparently there's a there's a kiln in the middle here which we'll also take a look at and then you'll see there's a opening there and then you've got the passage graves uh, through there but let's take a look so we've got our opening area another thing to note is this probably would have been covered at some point so what you'll probably find is uh, some of the rock has been reconstituted into walls or the surrounding areas into the buildings that's what they used to do there's an interesting wedge tomb in Kiju actually at the top of the mountains there which will take you there one day and uh, there's not much of it left just a basic central structures but it would have had a lot more to it but since then it's obviously been reconstituted into something else but let's crack on Oh, we're in the central court area and uh, there actually is much wind here which is great because it's been hell of a windy uh, where I've been in the previous places so we'll have a good look around I'll spin it around in a second and you can, you can get a good look at the oval structure there are loads of stones here so you can just imagine what this would have looked like in its prime um, but yeah just a really fantastic special place I'll just put the uh, extension pole out now so you can How we do it? So I was just talking about the kiln which was used in during the medieval period. It's right over here actually. Wow. These absolutely huge stones here that they've uh, brought up when they constructed this place. And then you've got what they refer to as the capstone which is that one sitting on top there and then that would have gone through into your uh, into your graves See the capstone and just above it here now as far as i'm aware this whole this would have been a chamber this all would have been covered up so just it just goes to show all the, the the stone that's been pinched over the uh over the centuries yeah the rain's coming actually at the back here i found that there is another tomb just over here So we will be sure to check that out as we work our way around. Okay, we're gonna make our way back through the, uh, the entire uh, tomb and then we're gonna work our way on the outskirts and see what that area back there is. So let's, let's go for it. Through here. Make sure you don't bang your head on that. It's the kiln. It's huge rocks that we used there. Check out those uh, other chain, that other chamber there on the uh, on the left that we saw from the inner section. And this is the outside. Just wonder where they'd uh, got all the stone from. They must have quarried it from somewhere, but um, basically all hand tools. If they had uh, quarried it from somewhere, this is one of the tombs here. There's also one on the other side as well. I don't know how we missed that, but it could be uh, I was busy filming, so uh, we'll just take a closer look. It's one of the chambers from the inside here. Uh, this probably looks like it was majority of the stone was probably put in here. The 
was an earlier excavation of the actual site as well but um and apparently they did find all sorts of artifacts dating back from that Neol neolithic period polished stone uh, head axes and that it sounds very interesting that's us from the uh that internal chamber Yeah, so uh, the original excavations in 1935, they were headed by a gentleman from Harvard University. And uh, he conducted the excavations here with the help of the local uh, laborers that were involved in an, some sort of employment scheme with the government at the time, which was the Irish Free State. Um, and yeah, that's um, where well, they dug up the majority of the site and found all those artifacts. Pretty interesting. Just looking on this, it's probably the reason why I didn't see it. Uh, that's probably one area here, but just obviously the uh, the edging stones uh, are missing. And then there's another pit on this side here. There's not really any um, diagrams or anything, so I'm sort of just taking a guess here. And I've uh, just had a look on uh, Wikipedia just to see what the story is. But um, everything I mentioned so far is pretty much it. Um, Obviously not, not too much detail about the 1935 ex excavations, but uh, the information's online. I'll put a link in the description there and you can take a look. But uh, what a fascinating site. And we're gonna finish up here and I'm just gonna do a lap um, around the external sections. And interesting enough, you can see where they've tried to sort of keep the wall as straight as possible considering they didn't really have any form of mathematics uh, physics so fair, fair play to them they've really done a good job considering they didn't really have the tools for it or did they who knows <laughs> there's a view of the court court tomb in the entranceway yeah the rain's pouring down now. And we'll make our way back to the exit there. And then we're going to finish up. That brings uh, this episode to, to an end. Thanks so very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the weather with me. Uh, coming to have a look at this fantastic tomb. Uh, that's Creepy Keel Court Tomb in Sligo. Uh, be sure to come and check it out when you're in the area. If you're on your way up to Donegal, you can't miss it. This is the road that heads up from Sligo to Donegal. Uh, so be sure to check it out. Please like, comment and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.